Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to get a perfect credit card score. So I'm just going to hop right in, but before I do, make sure you hit the like button. And yeah, let's get started. So to understand how to get a perfect credit card score, we first need to understand what actually makes up your credit card score. So let's go over that. So your utilization is going to make up about 30% of your credit score. Your payment history makes up about 35%. How long you've had the account makes up about 15%. How many accounts you have, 10%. And inquiries make up the last 10%. So for utilization, the magic number is 7%. Basically, if you want a perfect credit score, you can only use 7% of your credit limit every month. Yes, that means if your credit limit is like $100, let's say, you can only use $7 per month. But on average, the people with the highest credit card scores, they use about 7-10% to 10 of their credit limit every month. So even though you might hear people say, oh, 30% is how much you should use, if you want a perfect score, it's actually going to be 7-10%, to 10 which makes 7 the magic number. <laughs> payment history. Basically, you can never ever have a late payment, so you have to put your credit card on auto pay. No matter how good you are with it, there's going to be times when you slip up. I personally like to pay my credit card bill like the very day that the first day that I'm able to. But last month I forgot and I didn't pay it till two days later. It was nowhere near late. <laughs> but it just made me realize that if I don't put it on auto pay, like things can happen and I can slip up. So just put it on auto pay right after this video. Put it on auto pay and you'll just be set. You'll never be late. You'll never miss one. You'll be golden. When you only have one or two credit cards, it's going to be really difficult for you to get to a perfect credit score. <laughs> Typically, people who have a perfect credit score have, on average, 20 different credit cards. I know it seems like a lot, but that's just kind of how it works. You're not going to be able to increase your score by a lot if you only have a few credit cards. So it's also not the best idea to open a bunch of credit cards all at once because it's going to seem like something happened, like maybe you lost your job or something and you had to go open like a bunch of credit cards. It's going to ding your credit score at first for a while, um, typically like two years is when um, those dings will kind of fall off your history. And then hard inquiries are one thing that's also going to hurt your credit score if you're applying for like an apartment or a car loan something like that where they have to put in a hard inquiry on your credit score that's going to affect your credit score for a short period of time depending on what it is it can be anywhere from six months to two years but that's just kind of how it works so that is something to keep in mind and then the last factor is time this one is difficult because you're not going to be able to achieve a perfect score immediately typically it's just going to take a longer time for you to get to that perfect score it because time is an important factor when it comes to determining your score if you've only had it for like six months let's say though you can have a very high credit score you know upwards of 760 even you're not going to be able to hit the 850 perfect score but it really doesn't matter because anything above 760 is basically perfect so if you're already like at that point Basically, you don't have to stress about it too much. Just make sure you put your credit cards on auto pay and use only 7% of each of your credit cards per month. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you next time. Bye.